Today, I'm gonna to walk you through a few exercises that address an often neglected fundamental, and that is finger dexterity, especially that pesky third finger that often lags behind the other two. Let's get this started with a group of exercises that I call finger busters. Finger busters are simply working your way through the most difficult fingering patterns that we have, usually in the form of a trill. I like to do this without actually playing to save chops a little bit. These can be a very effective way to begin your warm up of your fingers. The B to C sharp trill is an excellent example of a finger buster, as is the D E trill. You can also isolate a C-sharp E for a really good third finger workout. Feel free to work those combinations that give you the most trouble. You can spend about 20 to 30 seconds on each one. Another exercise that is an excellent third finger workout is on page 50 in Wiff Rudd's book, Collaborative Practice Concepts. In this exercise, you use alternate fingerings to isolate the third finger. The exercise is basically lifting up the third finger over and over again. Check this one out and feel free to give it a try. <laughs> No matter what level of trumpet player that you are, the Clark Technical Studies book have certainly stood the test of time when it comes to building technique. A couple of classics include the first etude that is all about chromatics, and then the second etude, which is a classic finger workout. Be patient when it comes to building up speed on these. It will take a lot of slow practice to build these well. For your reference, here are both of those etudes. <laughs> The goal is to build stunning techniques so that it will serve your musical ideas so that when you're performing, you don't even have to think about it because you've already done the work. But reaching that goal will not be achieved at the highest level if you haven't spent the time developing these skills. Finger dexterity is certainly an important piece when it comes to building that stunning technique. If you find value here, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more trumpet tips, and let me know in the comments which exercise you're most excited to try. Also, if you like this video, check out this video where we take a deep dive into double and triple tonguing. Thanks for watching.